today we're going to have a look at the snap-on cylinder leakage tester. In the kit you have a 14mm standard reach adapter and a 14mm long reach adapter. You use the long reach adapter for double overhead cam engines. You would use a cylinder leakage tester after having completed a compression test if you have identified low compression in one of the cylinders a cylinder leakage tester will identify where that fault is. The preparation work before using the kit all spark plugs have to be removed, the dipstick has to be removed, air filter housing has to be removed and the radiator cap. Do ensure that the engine is also a top dead centre. This ensures that all of the valves are closed. The setup of the tool has a regulator on the left hand side. Before connecting the airline ensure that it is fully turned in the counterclockwise position. Connect the airline. You then have to set the gauges between 90 and 100 psi. The gauge on the right hand side will identify no leak, low, moderate or high leakage. Once set between 90 and 100 psi, connect the tool to the adapter that is connected into the spark plug hole. <coughs> on this vehicle we do have a leakage in this particular cylinder. There's four areas in which you will find the leak. To check for the leak, you can listen or feel for airflow coming through the dipstick. If you have airflow coming through the dipstick, this would be caused by uh, worn piston rings. If you have uh, a leak in the cylinder head gasket, you would feel air or hear air coming through the radiator. You can also check and listen for air coming through the exhaust, which would be due to bent valves on bent exhaust valves or on this particular vehicle we have airflow air coming through the throttle body which means that we have bent valves or leaking valves on the inlet side. <coughs>